what's up beautiful people welcome back to the channel it's felicia renee let's jump right into this tutorial so i'm gonna start off with using my mac paint pot this is in the shade painterly i believe and i'm gonna use my sigma concealer brush the f75 to pack on that on my pack on that to pack that on my lid and just make sure that my eyeshadows are vibrant and they're pigmented and now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Too Faced Pretty Rich palette, and I'm gonna use the shade Is Cashmere, and I'm gonna use this Morphe, um, like I think it's just I can't remember what number, but it's a fluffy blending brush, and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. Next, I'm gonna take my Makeup Revolution Fiercest Fire palette, and this doesn't have shade like names of the shades, but it's this cranberry shade, and I'm using my Sephora number 38 brush to pack that into my crease to create a, create a transition for that next shade, which is gonna be that super bright red. And I'm just blending that into the crease, and I'm going back in with my uh, MAC paint pot just to add a little bit of that to the lid to make sure that my canvas is clean and then I'm taking my James Charles palette and using that super bright red shade I'm not sure of the name um, if I can remember it I'll link it but you guys will probably know if you have that palette anyway it's the red one um, so anyways I'm just packing that on using my Sigma number E20 brush it's the short shader brush and then now I'm taking my Juvia's Place small or like medium crease brush I don't have any product on there but I just wanted to kind of blend the transition in between and now I'm gonna take my elf black liner gonna line my lids and go ahead and pop some lashes on Next, I'm gonna take my Ciate London Watermelon Burst um, Primer, and I love this primer because it absolutely smells like candy, and it just smells good. And also, it's very hydrating, especially if you have dry skin. Me, I have combination oily skin, but I still love it. Um, even if I use it, sometimes I just use like a mattifying primer in my T-zone area, but I love it because it actually feels kinda tacky as well, so the foundation sticks to it. I don't know, it's weird, but I love it um, and then I'm using my Anastasia contour palette I'm just using that peach shade to color correct um, my designer bags and then I have hyperpigmentation around like my chin and um, like mustache area or whatever uh, but yeah just color correcting those I still love this technique I know we kind of got away from this um, for a while maybe like sometimes we use it. I don't see it as often as it used to be back in the day but this technique really does help and I still love it I go back to it every now and again when I'm not rushing I'm gonna take my Frisali 24 karat gold skin mist and I'm gonna use that to spray my face as well right before I go ahead with my foundation it just adds a little bit more hydration and I'm gonna use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting this is the concealer and foundation in one and I'm in the shade ginger and I love this foundation and if you're not new to the channel if you're like an oldie then you know i've been using this for years um i have a lot of different foundations but i still love this i didn't read up on it so many times it just gives me full coverage i like the color um especially since my face is like lighter than like my neck um because of like my hyperpigmentation and eczema and it just gives me full coverage i just love it Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour stick in the shade, or actually it's a foundation stick, but it's in the shade Walnut, and I'm gonna use that to contour my cheeks and my face because I'm still trying to drop these pounds, but for now, this is gonna do. Um, <laughs> Anyways, I can always tell when I'm losing weight because my face goes down, which I'm really happy about. I'm still on my weight loss journey, but I don't know. That was just a random thought because I'm 
silly. Look at snatching them cheekbones, honey. Yes. Okay. And I love this because it's not matte. It's more of like a, I don't know, it's like more of a hydrating foundation stick. Um, and it just gives you kind of still like that glow. Next, I'm gonna take my all-time favorite, uh, my Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is in the shade 350, I believe. I love this shade, and I have a lot of different concealers, but I always go back to my Fenty Beauty. It's so full coverage for me. It's the coverage for me. <laughs> um, but I actually wanna try like a shade up just to get a little bit of a lighter under eye. But yeah, I still love the shade anyways, and I love it um, the way it blends out. It's just so smooth and seamless, and I'm using my Black Beauty Blender. Um, I need to go pick up some more, but yeah, I love this one a little bit better than the other ones. I don't know, I just feel like it blends better. time to go ahead and set the face so of course I'm gonna be using my handy dandy Laura Mercier um, I love this packaging this is like the holiday packaging um, but anyways I use that to press into my smile lines because if I don't it's gonna crease because I'm always cheesing um, but anyways I like to kind of do a light layer and press that into my skin and then afterwards I go in with a little bit more I cut that part out um, but yeah I'm using my Sigma um, I I forgot which number brush, brush this is, but I'll try to link it. And I'm just brushing that away. I love Sigma brushes, and I do have a coupon code. I need to make sure it's still active. I'll double check on that. Um, but yeah, I'm taking my Sephora Micro Smooth Setting Powder in the shade 56 Fonse Deep. And be careful if you guys are around this shade because they actually have two of the same names, but they have a 56 shade and a 60. Um, but I use 56, and I like that one better. Um, it's just a little bit lighter than the 60 that I have. And now I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And I'm using that middle shade um, to contour. And I'm using my Sigma, um, like a small, I think this is a, a blush brush or something like that. Um, don't quote me, but yeah, I'll link it and correct myself if I can. Now I'm going to take my Morphe 8H Highlight and Contour. Um, palette and I'm gonna use that gold shade and then the pearl shade in there and I just like to mix the two and I'm using my Anastasia a 23 brush highlighter brush to place that on my cheekbones forehead and everywhere I need to highlight Next, I'm gonna take my Mac and Aaliyah collection the red lip liner this is my first time using this lip liner. I just needed one super red and I couldn't find my cherry one. Normally, I wouldn't touch it. It's like a collector's item for me. Um, but I'm going to use my MAC um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Feel So Grand. And I'm going to use that to, of course, put on my lips. What are you talking about, Felicia? And then I'm going to take the red shade um, from the Morphe palette again and just kind of put that in my waterline just to add a little bit of color so it's not super um, like plain and then it'll balance it out to me at least. And we're pretty much wrapping this look up and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just popping some um, mascara on my bottom lashes because they're so tiny. But any guy, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you and I'll see you next time. 